Well, a very good morning. Welcome to the Buzz UG. And uh, these are the stories that are making headlines in the country. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. As usual, my name is Melad Milo, aka Fula. Now, the Parliament of Uganda has stopped the Nyege Nyege Festival, an annual social event scheduled to take place next week in Jinja. Now, Tororo Woman Member of Parliament, Horebo Sara Opendi, says the event is a breeding ground for sexual immorality. People having sex in the open, people drinking, and people have been told that this event will go on for three days, both night, day and night, and people have to drink drink themselves silly, right honorable speaker, while it is okay, and people may look at this as normal, leave people to enjoy it. But we have another bigger challenge, right honorable speaker, that we are having our young children being recruited into the LGBT community. So right honorable speaker, this Nyege Nyege event, can we hear from the government? What is government's position on this growing morality in this country. What is this nyege nyege that you are allowing to take place? And the advert is international. And I have seen, right honorable speaker, if you go to the sites, you will see men, both young men, holding hands. Young women together. What are they promoting? Now, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Among, has also confirmed that this event is not going to happen come rain or shine. She actually questioned the benefits we are getting from Nyege Nyege Festival and uh, if it doesn't happen, what do we lose as a country? We are talking about our children. You are there and, and you are trying to promote tourism at the expense of our children. We are not going to allow that function to take place. How do you sell tickets at the expense of people's children? You are promoting gays in Uganda. No function should take place. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what happened in Parliament yesterday. And uh, the organizers of this event have promised to address the media after sorting everything with government. <laughs> Former State Minister of Tourism, Horrible Godfrey Chuanda Subi, has rejected a big offer from President Museveni to become Uganda's new ambassador to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. According to the information from State House, cabinet that sat on Monday had approved a list of seven names of individuals who were to be appointed as ambassadors in different countries with the former minister, Godfrey Chuanda Subi, among them. Now, speaking to the media, Chiwanda said he's going nowhere because he still has a lot to do right here in the country as the NRM vice chairperson, Buganda region. Now, the latest news coming in from Tracy's camp, the lady who was abducted recently after celebrating the death of General Eli Tumine, indicates that she's in critical condition after tortured, raped, and uh, the people who abducted her are scared to bring her out. Well, other reports from her relatives on social media indicate that she might be dead, but, uh, you know, this is something I don't want to believe right now because it is still unconfirmed information. But of course, the National Unity Platform and the public continues to demand for the release of this beautiful lady. But unfortunately, we haven't had any statement from Uganda police speaking about the abduction of this beautiful lady. Uh, this is a story that I'm following up very closely and I'll be keeping you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Now, the Chief of Criminal Investigations Directorate, CID, Major Tom Magambo, has warned police officers against effecting arrests before evidence is gathered, saying premature arrests cause cases to pile up. 
Now, Major Tom Agambo says he has directed detectives to stop arresting suspects before enough evidence is gathered. However, Tom Agambo noted that arrests can be made in cases such as terrorism. It should be remembered that a big section of Ugandans have complained about this culture of arresting people without enough evidence. If you have been following me right here on the Buzz UG, earlier this week I did a story telling you about the conversation that was given by President Museveni to the victims of bomb blasts that happened right here in Kampala last year. Now, the victims of the 2021 protests right here in Kampala after the arrest of NUP President Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu are also demanding to be compensated. <laughs> We wunye neva dayo neva muzikula no muzikula enchi hundu chanyina kumutima na yete wali wana mkulu no mu yari antu ukidid. Me wunye sokula wa jo kumauli renga sente bazitade kumeza wa bako mpaseti nga bantu wa bako wa bomu. Nalabe sente kumeza bonga wa bako mpaseti nze atenga chari chiragiro cha president ya yoge ranti wa batu hiriri. Well, it should be remembered that 54 people were confirmed dead, however much other sources say we lost more than the reported 54 people. Now, the human rights activists are saying that governments should stop putting politics in this matter and compensate all the affected people. <laughs> National Unity Platform has condemned the continued detention of their supporters who have now spent over one year in prison. Earlier this week, over 30 NUP supporters were brought to the military court in Makindye, expecting to be given bail, but again, it wasn't possible. So, fenga NUP tu vumilira, nese vumilira ena, echoku banga wantu wafe. Bonge lava nyigiriza, mkotisi za neza maje. Echisoka, mawabana wunabu olabi omu, teri mujasinomu. Teri luzo nuwachi baba uzesa mkotisi za maje. Na ene choku bidi, bamaze omwaka mulamba, actually, bamaze omwaka kumune mezi nge na mukomera. Ngabuli wetu jawano, baga amba, babela ne excuse, emu obendala, elo musangone babela nga wago ngeira yo. Njaka la mtu nulire, abazade baba na avantu. Now, the relatives of these detainees were seen weeping and uh, called upon government to release their people because they were the breadwinners of their families. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you this morning on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, uh, just put it down in the comment section. But most importantly, make sure that you subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And maybe you don't want to miss on any update uh, right here on the Buzz UG. Uh, just tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller. And of course, as usual, I want to big up to all the Buzz diehards right here. Thank you for the support. Thank you for following right here on the Buzz UG. It's a bye for now. Audio jump.